woke up one morning, saw one million views. Leisha is a quirky, colourful, energetic, spontaneous, random, random female. I don't even want to call myself a rapper, entertainer. I'm an all round entertainer. Lancaster, you're here for the Getting It Loud in Libraries, and it's BBC Music Day. Yep. Yay! Yay! So, how does it feel to perform in the library? It's actually, I don't know until I do it, but I think it's just crazy how they've transformed this big library into mm. a stage, and I'm going to be on the stage, and there's going to be kids like, <laughs> it's just mad. I always bang on about it's the kids of the future and stuff, but mm. it, that is what really me because I grew up. As a young, you know, a young teenager, all I had really for me, for my music, was the youth club. So that's why I'm always like complaining. Why isn't there no youth clubs anymore for the kids? You know what I mean? So what I love about you is that you're you're from Birmingham, repping. Oh one two one. Oh one two one. <laughs> and you know you've been successful and you've managed to keep your integrity at the same time. How do you stay grounded? It's all about the people I've been around. You've got to surround yourself around positive Definitely. people and people that are winners as well. Yeah. If you're surrounding yourself around losers, what are you going to do? Become a loser. Exactly. Mm. I can't just go on a song now and talk about drugs, violence and sex and guns and stuff because I don't know that, that life. Yeah. It wouldn't make no sense. Yeah. You don't have to come, come up with a gun and stuff and then start talking about it. You can actually live a struggle where your mum was working three, four jobs trying mm -hmm. to put clothes on your back and you want to express that, you want to show people. You grew up like this, you grew up on corned beef and rice, you had water for dinner, things like that. I'm, I'm so left out the box that mm -hmm. I can just stand up here and do this. Yeah. And people <laughs> think, oh, is that just Leisha? If you've got clean underwear inside, make some noise for you. Now, for any young people out there going through, you know, struggle or have come from struggle, what would be your advice to them to overcome adversity? My advice is don't let the struggle change you. You change the struggle because you could be from any background and go through the worst, but it's up to you if you want to live that lifestyle. Change your life. That's what I do. I come from the gutter and the badness of my whole, like, my whole life and changed it because that's what I wanted to do, you know? And, and that's the main thing. You have to physically believe that you, you're not going to stay in that situation. You're going to overcome it. I thought my dream was dead. Thought I needed an ambulance. But now my dream's alive and I'm on top and I'm balancing. There's this whole concept around being from Birmingham and it's a city where you cannot make it unless you go to London or you go to Manchester. <laughs> I mean, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that young people can make it not just out of Birmingham, but in Birmingham? In Birmingham. Mm -hmm. One million percent. One million percent. Mm -hmm. You can make it anywhere. I'm sure Ed Sheeran's not from London, is he? He's not from Birmingham. <laughs> well, <this laughs> <one's>, <laughs> I think I you that. can make it from anywhere. Well, as long as you've got the gas and you get back on your lane, I thought about this earlier, by the way, people are going to Once you get past, you know, you've got your gas and you're on your way, Nobody can stop him, and I just feel that like that's how I look at life. And I feel that once you're focused and you're motivated and you're in your own lane, don't watch what anybody else does. Sometimes you kind of watch people, you know, I, I don't obviously know you, but when I watch you on the screen, I feel so proud. Yeah. And I, I honestly feel like, oh my, because you're from Birmingham, I honestly feel yeah. like I'm just, we're just, I mean, my sister, we sit down, we're like, we're just so proud of her. Like, she's I our big that. sister, we're just really proud. I love you. Why do girls love to do that house? And they do trainers. What? Oh. Get it Loud like in Libraries is a project where bands, artists, songwriters play local libraries across the UK for all ages audiences at a cheap ticket price way in advance of their mainstream success. 
very few young people don't like music. Um, so for us it was a great way of getting them to access the library. Okay, so obviously a lot of your videos have gone viral on YouTube. You've been quite successful. Well, quite very. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so how can young people be successful on YouTube with their music as well? So, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna explain how I done the YouTube thing with Queen Speed because yeah. it was like I came back as a new artist. Yeah. So what I did is I planned and then I met up with this video camera guy mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we shot the first Queen Speed. Mm -hmm. And then I went onto my computer, I uploaded it, mm -hmm. but I kept it on private because I was I was actually scared. I was just like, Aww. I don't know if if people are gonna like this. The new Leisha, I was petrified. But I thought, you know what? You're never gonna know until you do it. These rappers want to shoot at people. I'd rather shoot a bit and put it on the internet and gain a couple of views for me. It didn't do as well as all the other ones. Mm -hmm. This is Queen's Beach one. Yeah. But I learned, and that, that's what happens. Like when you, you start to develop and build your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. you know, you start getting your subscribers, you start getting like, you know, your, your notifications and stuff like that. You start building everything. And after, once you've got that good little, you've got your own solid, you ain't got a Vivo, your own account mm -hmm. has got all these subscribers. You don't need no one. I woke up one morning, saw one million videos. Make sure you subscribe to BBC World. I woke up one morning, saw one million views. Yeah. I woke up one morning, then I brushed my teeth. I got into the bath, then I changed my panties. Yeah. I made sure that the weave don't smell like cornbread. I looked at the views and thought, I'm about to be bigger than four heads. Oh yes, I put on my Jordans, then I leave the house, it's important. Light V dark, cut that lark. What all strange fruit hanging in the man's bark. On a day-to-day -day basis, how do we consciously or unconsciously portray ourselves?